We're going to walk through setting up scan to email on a Canon Image Runner Advanced copier. So first thing, we need a little information. Uh, we need to know the SMTP server for your mail server. Does it require SSL? We need the SMTP port that that server is using. We'll need a valid email address and then the password for that email address. Now from there, we're going to open up a web browser. You're going to log into the web interface with the IP address from your copier. Make sure you're not using this IP address. Once you're there, you should have the login screen. Now your login ID and password should be 7654321. If that doesn't work, try 1234567. And then, of course, if that doesn't work, then it's been changed to something other than the defaults. So you'll either need to find that password or contact RJ Young to reset that password for you. Let's go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, you'll see this page. This gives all your basic information about the copier. We're going to go over here to the right to Settings, Registration. And then on the settings registration page under function settings, we're going to go to send. And then under common settings, we're going to click on network settings, email slash IFAC settings. <clears throat> and here's where we're going to put this information in that we needed before. So SMTP server, um, I've set up a, a basic Gmail account just for testing. SMTP server here, the email address here that we're using. Um, again, if you require SSL, make sure you check this box. If your server requires authentication, we need to check this box. Here you're going to put the username or email address that we put in here before and then the password to that email address, and then confirm it. <clears throat> now, if your server requires anything other than port 465, we will have to send a technician on site to change that in the machine. So again, if anything other than 465. Now, once you get that in there, we're going to go ahead and click OK, and then your machine is set up for scan to email. Now from here, we need to add addresses to the address book. So we're going to go to Portal. And then click on Address Book. And then of course you have all your different address lists. We're going to register a new destination. And this is where you can select your different types. You've got file for scan to folder, email, of course, for scan to email. Under name, this is what will show up on the copier. And then, of course, we're going to put the email address here that we created to scan to. Click OK. From that point forward, your email address will be in here. Now, with the network settings on a Canon, once you put the server information in and click OK, those settings won't be saved in the machine until you actually turn the copier completely off with the main power switch and then turn it back on. You can also, under settings registration, restart the device here. Once you're done with that, everything should be set up correctly, send a test scan, and you're good to go.